Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Anne. So, today, may bago na naman tayong video, but hindi ako magmi-makeup. Today, mag-unbox ako ng aking bagong Oculus Quest 2. So, sa mga hindi pa nakakaalam, The Oculus Quest 2 is completely standalone and you don't need a PC to use it. It has a full inside-out tracking capabilities and all you need is a Facebook account, a Wi-Fi connection, and a mobile to set it up. All the games and apps can be downloaded to and played directly from the headset itself. The Oculus Quest 2 is what we call a hybrid VR headset because if you happen to have a powerful gaming PC, you also have the ability to connect the headset to your PC to play PC VR content from both Oculus and Steam VR. So if you are into VR gaming and you are planning to buy an Oculus Quest 2, then this video is for you. Huwag na nating patatagalin pa and let's crack this open. <laughs> this is the box itself. Well, before you can use the Oculus Quest 2, you need to download and install the free Oculus app for your Apple or Android device. The mobile device is only required for the initial setup. Everything else can be managed on the headset itself once the setup is complete. Now, let's open the box and see what's inside. So here, you get a pair of Oculus Touch controllers. And gusto gusto ko tong design ng controllers. They've made some great improvements to them over the last generation, including longer battery life and a stronger haptic feedback. They take just a single AA battery each and come with batteries pre-installed. Here in the small box is where you can find your quick start guide and warranty information booklet. You also get a power adapter and a 1 meter USB-C to USB-C charging cable. And now, of course, you get the Oculus Quest 2 headset itself. And you can see here just how small and compact it is. It features tracking cameras on the front plate for the Oculus Insight tracking system. Two terms are often used when talking about headset adjustments and clarity are IPD and lens spacing. IPD stands for interpupillary distance or simply put the distance between your pupils. Lens spacing refers to the distance between the clear spots on the two lenses inside your headset. To achieve the best image clarity, lens spacing should line up with your IPD as much as possible. To change the lens spacing on your Oculus Quest 2, gently adjust the lenses by shifting them together or apart. There are three lens spacing settings for Quest 2. One narrowest, which is 58 mm, two is the middle, which is 63 mm, three is the widest, which is 68 mm. And finally, you get a glasses spacer if you happen to wear glasses to give them some extra room inside the headset. So the question is, where can I buy an Oculus Quest 2? You can buy an Oculus Quest 2 sa Lazada, Shopee, and Amazon. So, kinompare ko yung mga prices nila ng Lazada, Shopee, and Amazon. Um, dito sa Lazada, ang Oculus Quest 2 ay nasa um, 22,000 to 35,000 pesos. As you can see. The 22,000 pesos, ito yung 64 gigabyte. And um, yung 35,000 pesos, ito yung 256 gigabyte. So, dito naman sa Shopee, yung 64 gigabyte nila is 25,990 pesos. And then, yung um, 256 gigabyte is nasa 30,000 pesos na. And dito naman sa Amazon, Ang 256 gigabyte ay nasa 
19,746 pesos. At ang um, 64 gigabyte ay nasa 14,797 pesos. Hindi pa kasama doon yung tax at saka shipping fee. So, dito sa details, dito makikita mo kung magkano yung shipping fee and estimated import fees. So, yung shipping fee nila ay nasa 1,417 pesos. And then, yung um, import fees ay nasa 5,350 pesos. So, yung total na mababayaran mo is ito. 21,565 pesos. For ano lang to, para sa 64 gigabytes lang to. But, if gusto mong bumili ng 256 gigabyte, yung shipping fee ay same lang din, but yung import fees ay mas malaki. Um, which is 6,984 pesos. So, total na mababayaran mo ay 28,147 pesos. Yun nga, na-cancel yung order namin sa Amazon. And naghanap na naman kami ulit. Doon kami nag, um, naghanap sa Lazada. And then, I found one na um, parang same lang din sila ng price sa Amazon. Kinuha namin yung 256 gigabyte. Yung total na bayaran namin sa Lazada ay 29,000 pesos. With shipping fee na yun. So, yun. Parang same-same lang din sila ng price sa Amazon, which is around 28,000 pesos. So, hindi masyado malaki yung difference. Kaya yun, nag-go kami sa Lazada. And that's our video for today. If you like this video and may nakuha kang information, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!